Hi, this is Dr. Shweta Aratya from the Limitless Brain Lab. Thank you for liking, subscribing and sharing the content. Very soon, we are coming up with the Prime subscription also and I will be meeting you monthly every fourth Saturday of the month. So today's topic is going to be about writing. I think over the period of time, we have lost this art of writing. Can we rewire our brains simply by writing? Why was writing even evolved as a practice? Can you understand what is the nuances of a personality from the writing? In fact, this conversation began when one of my patients and a very dear friend also who came to me and said that, I think my personality is changing, my character is changing. And I said, what are you doing for that? He says, I'm writing. And I took a step back and said, writing is changing your character. Writing is changing your personality. Well, he says, yes, through graphotherapy. So what is graphotherapy and what is graphology? Let's have a look at it. Until the end, watch this video because I'm going to bring out certain very interesting facts. If you have been signing in the right way or writing in the right way, go ahead and check it out for yourself what is happening. Now typing versus writing. All the time we are either typing in the computer or we are scrolling on the phone and typing on the phone. Now when you type versus when you write, there is a significant change which is happening in the brain. In fact, uh, we just did an experiment also of uh, giving an interview with a robot versus giving a live interview. And when I was giving the interview because I wanted to see what are the changes happening in my brain and my association and what the answers I am giving, to your surprise when a robot was asking me questions, I was getting confused. I could not answer with the rhythm and the speed because I could not understand the emotions. While micro emotions, when I display on the face, is extremely important. Face has multiple such muscles. So like how emotions change the way I respond. In the same way, when I write, when each of the stroke is done in a writing context, and that is the reason most of the times you will see me carrying the pen and a paper. I still believe that when you are writing, that is getting your better comprehension, your memory becomes better because of the reproducibility, because I had done that all my life in the medical school. Thanks to those practices, got some 10 over more than 13 gold medals. I could stand first in most of the subjects just because very intuitively I understood how the brain was functioning now we have data we have studies to show how the brain functions so when you hold the pen also there is a pressure acute pressure which is happening in certain points that is activating the brain when you are writing the the, the size of the uh, the page the way you are writing is actually giving the inputs to the brain in fact, the prefrontal cortex, which is all about discrimination, perfectness, emotional regulation, the creativity, the newness, getting onto the work, task, no procrastination, is being developed by writing. The energy flow in the body can also be changed as per the energy experts by writing. In fact, when you are able to either write also with the left hand, so I'm a right-handed person, but if I'm able to write also with the left hand, the MB dextrous, what we call, it's even better for the wiring of the brain. Hi, this is Dr. Shweta Aradhyaya. Welcome all of you to Dubai in November 15th and 16th. We are going to have a massive and explosive learning which is from the top stalwarts across the globe. We have Dr. Krishnesh Mehta joining, Dr. Val Alino, we have Dr. Kalai Cherian who's a memory expert, Ashtavadan. All this is happening on 15th and 16th of November, a retreat one of a kind, one of a kind to elevate your brain game. If you have been struggling with memory, this is the place to be. We will be showcasing a beautiful brain booth where you can experiment how to improve your focus, attention, relaxation. All this is happening. Grab your seats because we are just going to have only 50 invitations for the retreat. It's just at a mere 500 US dollar until the 30th of June. So welcome each and every one of you in a beautiful, amazing five-star beach resort in Dubai in UAE. Welcome from the Limitless Brain Lab and personally from me, Dr. Shweta Aradhyaya. Now, when you are writing, what is other thing which is happening is the way you're putting the slants, the way you are writing certain letters, for example, T. If you have a T with a very wide upper stroke, that means you are likely to 
to be a person with anger, with a lot of aggression. If you are writing a Y, which is nice, and the G, which is nice, possibly you have some elements of calmness, tranquility, and more spiritual practices are likely from your end. In fact, certain uh, cultures write from left to right, which is Arabic. So is there some special changes in the brain which is happening? 100% yes. When the children are young, we train them to write cursive only because of this reason. And that's why I am a huge fan of actually journalizing. Journal your amazing discoveries that you had with yourself. Journal some things that you want in life. Visualize and write it down with a clear purpose, a clear goal. Try to see whether your handwriting has changed over a period of time. In fact, in the medical studies also, when I have a patient with Parkinson's, if I make the person write, I know there will be tiny writing. And that is also happening because of the changes happening in basal ganglia. Now, is there any harm in making a writing which is appropriate to changing the prefrontal cortex? 100% no. You can change, in fact, your emotional uh, structure, your emotional lability. You can actually make your anxiety calmed. And that is what the graphotherapists or the graphology experts also do. Graphotherapy is seemingly such a simple art, a simple practice, but can have a very, very deep significance. When you are drawing a signature, never cross yourself because the psychologists and experts say, which means your self-identity is at a stake. You don't trust yourself. You don't think you are self-worth and important. And that is what, if you observe, none of the experts do that. In fact, I'm also reminded of Leonardo da Vinci. He had this amazing ability of mirror writing and also mirror reading. I think in one of uh, the seminars, we are going to call one Major Vikram who has this ability and who has been sending me some amazing data about it. What if we are able to make the people learn this kind of mirror writing? Will it help them build the prefrontal cortex? The answer possibly is very much a yes. Because we had evolved the process of writing just so that the wiring of the brain happens. When I am typing, what I am doing is I'm just focused one. I don't have to worry about the space, which means my visual spatial orientation is lost. When I am typing, my speed is very different as compared to when I'm writing. If I want to comprehend a thing better, I will automatically slow down my writing process. The moment I am writing and reading it immediately, sometimes it's not possible when I type, although uh, it is possible if you are mindfully typing, because some of the times you're just not mindful enough to read what you are doing. The writing gives you the ability to connect back to the thought. The writing also has the ability of how you are scratching it. If you are multiple times scribbling it and scratching it, which means again, your self-worth is at a stake. So there are so many nuances of the writing. The simple writing, writing from right to left, left to right, mirror writing, and also reading, which can help in rewiring your brain. So pick up your pen, pick up your pad, keep writing let's not forget the art of writing because writing is serving your brain so thank you so much for watching this episode please do share your interests uh, with the workshop that we are going to conduct with major vikram in the coming months hang tight and follow uh, our channel as well www.drshwetaaratya.com where we'll, we keep posting these kind of events so that we all learn together thank you so much from the heart signing off dr shweta aratya from the limitless brain lab